Welcome to Periscope, where we discuss the advantages of owning and growing your business in the city of Paris, California. While featuring the stories of those business owners whose companies are enjoying success here in the city right now. I'm Jeff Allen, and on this segment, we're shining the spotlight on a Paris-based business that has seen well over 30 years of success, Inland Auto Boat and RV, also known as Inland Boat Center. And I'm joined by the owner and president, Mr. Mark Dakin. Mark, welcome. It's nice to have you in. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule. I know that you've got, as of uh, the time we're shooting this video, you've got a bunch of boat shows you're going to be going to, so we appreciate you taking time to sit down and tell us a little bit about the success that you've had in the city and with your company. And you've seen a, a lot of success. I mean, over 32 years, I think I saw on your website. That may be actually now a little bit longer than that, but tell us, I mean, a little bit about how you got started and just kind of the genesis of Inland Boat Center. I basically got started buying and selling, uh, putting my way through school, and uh, never had a, an official salesman job at a dealership anywhere else, and I always just bought and sold on my own, started with, with boats actually. I grew up in Louisiana and was very active with water sports as far as fishing and skiing, and, and uh, it just developed from purchasing one boat at a time, one outboard motor, and it just grew and grew and grew. Did you go right into that to open what is now Inland Boat Center? Or, or tell us a little bit about how you crossed yeah. over from that early yeah, stage. Yeah, originally I, I was uh, retailing cars from a home slash commercial piece of property that was in the city of Highland. and. Um, and again, it was one car at a time, two cars at a time as I could afford, and then it just it evolved uh, where I started uh, because my love has always been with boats, mm -hmm. and uh, it just evolved to more and more. And there again, uh, it was probably 1991 when I predominantly came around in their 90% boats. Now, what point in time did you end up locating your uh, business in the city of Paris? Approximately 12 years ago, bought the property in 2004, and um, upon purchasing, I had a few renovations to do, mm -hmm. um, and and from there, just opened it up basically about a year after I. I took ownership of the property. What led you into the area? Uh, was it that you just happened to find out about this location, uh, this Kmart that was closing down? Were you actively looking for a place to relocate at the time, or how did the move come about? I was definitely looking for more property. We had outgrown our prior locations and um, was definitely looking. Uh, actually found the property that that we ended up buying, but I think what kept me more in the idea of that area is the fact that the gentleman in charge of redevelopment with the city of Paris would call me from time to time. I mean, I could be anywhere and he would catch me on my cell and tell me about other properties that were for sale. But it was very reassuring to have Mike McDermott call on a regular basis telling me of other properties that were for sale, other buildings that were for sale. I think I saw somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, that Inland Boat Center is the largest boat dealer, or one of the largest boat dealers on the West Coast. Is that is that correct? Well, that's what I hear. How do you get to be one of the biggest on the West Coast. It, it's interesting because to me, um, as a non-boat owner, but it certainly as someone who has an interest in them, that you're inland, okay, uh, the, uh, the Inland Empire region of Southern California, you're away from the coast, so there's obviously a lot of competition there in many coastal cities, whether you're talking about San Diego and Long Beach and Orange County, Newport Beach, La uh, Los Angeles, of course. How do you kind of, to what do you attribute your success and your growth, really? Well, the closeness of Southern California with the freeway systems. Um, I'm basically uh, an hour north of San Diego, an hour east of LA, an hour from Orange County. Uh, so we're relatively close. I mean, it, it really is. And it's kind of a central location that is very, very easily accessible by the, uh, the freeway systems. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can be, you know, there's three different, four different airports that I fly out of quite regularly that um, it's just 
great location. How has the marine uh, industry in selling boats, how has the industry changed uh, um, over the years? And you've been at it for a while now. Um, how have you had to kind of roll with those changes in order to stay successful throughout the years? Well, I think one thing that has helped our business is the availability to inventory a lot of product. When people come in and are looking for a particular style of boat, um, we have it. I mean, if it's trailerable, we've got it. And we get a few boats that aren't trailerable that we actually end up putting on blocks. But, but basically, um, if you have a really good inventory and uh, a very good selection of nice stuff and you have price it right, I mean, it's just, I, I think any product is like that. You can just, you can sell. I mean, the, the patio boats and pontoon boats have been, become real <clears throat> popular over the last 15, 20 years. And is, would you consider those as being among your top sellers? You know, we really have a very good mix uh, between cruisers, deck boats, uh, tournament style ski boats, pontoon boats, fishing boats. It's, uh, it's really surprising the, um, the mix that, that we do sell. I, I, you know, uh, maybe one year pontoons may be best, the next year the ski boats might be better. Uh, but at the same time, there's, there's really decent numbers uh, sold across the board. Has the internet changed the way that shoppers come in and shop for boats? With regard to all the information that's out there, do they tend to be a little more savvy when they come in? Well, they do end up being a little more savvy, but at the same time, it's surprising the number of people that actually come to our area that um, don't live in our area. Mm -hmm. We typically will sell to a dozen different counties throughout California every single quarter as well a lot of different states we've got someone coming down from salt lake this weekend to pick up a boat that he saw online and um, boom here he comes so what you're saying then is is you're able to attract all of these people from outside of the area it kind of comes back to the comment that you made earlier being centrally located and that's really what you see is, is kind of an important key factor in your being able to market or promote your products to these outlying areas? Absolutely. As well as the fact uh, we're within 15 miles of three different lakes that we can test the boats on. Uh, when a customer is interested in purchasing a boat, we take them out on a lake test to make sure that that boat does everything that they want it to do, that it uh, operates the way they want it to. You know, that's a huge plus, and I didn't really think about that when we got started here, but it's true that Lake Paris is very, very close, and it would seem to me that that would give you a certain advantage over some other dealers that may not be so close to a body of water where you're able to essentially just drive a few miles away to do those tests with the customers. Correct. When we were in Highland, it would take an hour to get to the lake and an hour to get back, and usually about an hour and a half, two hours on the lake with each customer. This way, it's about 15 minutes to the lake, uh, an hour, hour and a half, two hours with the customer on the lake, and back in 15 minutes. So being close to the lake is a benefit. It seems it would give you an advantage over some other dealers, I would think, uh, as far as proximity is concerned. But it, I'm just kind of curious, from your perspective as the owner, longtime owner of Inland Boat Center, what do you believe, Mark, are some of the uh, important characteristics and real key traits that allow your dealership to kind of stand apart from the rest? Well, we have an inventory that uh, is basically second to none. We have uh, between 250 and 300 boats in our inventory at all time. They're very nice, clean, either new or pre-owned. We go through our boats and actually one of the few dealerships in the United States that will even offer a, a warranty on a used boat purchase. That's huge. Yeah. And the fact that a lot of our employees have been with us for a lot of years. They've grown with the company. They know that customer service is so important that we take care of our customer, not only before the sale, after the sale, it's more important. So in, in building that relationship with a lot of people that have become friends over the years, uh, it's, it's worked in a lot of ways. We get a lot of repeat business, we get a lot of referrals. 
and um, there's no better way of doing business as far as I'm concerned. Boy, and as we've all learned, in fact, re referral business is always the, the, the best sort of business and the sort of best sort of advertising of those referrals too that, that, that you get. We've, we've touched on location a little bit and being centrally located, which I know is also a plus and very, very important. Paris is just so close to all the major interchanges in Southern California. We touched on the central location, uh, being located in Paris and the freeway close, really you get the, the 215, the 91's close by, the 15 is not too far away. Is that important to uh, Mark as far as taking delivery of your inventory as far as that's concerned? Sure, to receive the, the boats that are coming in via transport, it's, it's very important. Uh, we can get boats in from our different manufacturers relatively quick um, and we can get the the used product that we get in. It just is nice and convenient and close. Mark, as we kind of wind down our discussion, we've talked a lot about how successful you've been, why you've been successful, and located in the city of Paris, giving you all kinds of advantages. Tell us how the city of Paris has been uh, kind of after you've moved in, since you've moved in, and it's continuing support of Inland Boat Center. Anytime we go for any other additional permit or uh, want to do something a little bit different that we need to get permission to, the, the different departments that we've had to deal with are just very friendly, uh, very business friendly in the fact that um, they want to let you do what you need to do. Um, they, the city of Paris, has has grown so much in the in the 12 years that we've been there. Mm -hmm. um, it's just incredible the amount of different businesses that are coming into the area, because they are very friendly to deal with and very easy to deal with. So, if you had a conversation right now, if someone came up to you off the street and they're a, a business owner or someone who is thinking of purchasing a business in town for the purpose of starting or expanding or growing a business, you would tell them what about the city of Paris? I don't think you could find an easier city to do business with in the state of California. Well, Mark Dakin, a great conversation. I really enjoyed our time. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you, Jay. There he is. That's going to wrap up this edition of Periscope. We hope you enjoyed our chat with Mr. Mark Dakin, owner of Inland Boat Center in the city of Paris. To learn more about Mark's business, visit inlandautoandboat.com. And if you'd like information about the advantages of starting, expanding, or relocating your business here in the city of Paris, we invite you to contact the Economic Development Department at City Hall by calling 951-943-6100. Again, that's 951-943-6100. Or you can visit the city's website at cityofparis.org. For Periscope, I'm Jeff Allen.